Harold Walter Stevens passed away at the age of 83. In a special campus memorial service, the BB community said goodbye to a good friend. Because of his generosity, the video yearbook is dedicated to him. Student days. This was a chance for the freshmen to get their feet wet at BB. Or at least something wet. On their first day, the freshmen got to march through the arch, listen to windy speakers, and sit in the annual group picture. Look closely. How many eager beavers can you see? Soon the upper classes returned and the campus was back to normal. How about those registration lines? The freshmen spent the afternoon with music, sun, and sand volleyball. Later, everyone got together at the Welcome Back Dance. I saw so many people. Everyone was excited to start the year. Parties, sleeping in. The fall sports gave everyone something to cheer about. The football games featuring the Mission Unstoppable team filled J. Leslie Rollins Stadium many weekends. And the football players weren't the only ones having fun. Volleyball also took place in the fall. This action took place in the Stevens Fieldhouse. Buford T. Beaver for president. Buford joined other candidates during the election year. And while he didn't make it to the White House, he was a hit at homecoming. The week began with the Beaver Convention DJ dance. That's where the homecoming king and queen finalist were announced. Soon, many other events were underway. Like the pep rally. I almost lost my voice.
other events included the volleyball competition, the KBBC Trivia Thon, and the campus picnic. They kept running out of my favorite dish. The most popular competition was the Hot Air Air Band Contest. Students built Anderson Auditorium to standing room only. Performances ranged from heavy metal to movie music medleys. My favorite was Rody doing the hand job. I don't know. I think Missy makes a great beach boy. Finally, coronation night arrived. I couldn't wait to see who the new homecoming queen was. Before the coronation, the floors got to perform again, this time in the variety show. When the lights went down, Everyone watched Mark Lance become king in Jean Hall, the 1988 homecoming queen. Saturday was the busiest day of homecoming week. In the morning, the second annual Beaver Dam Fun Run started the homecoming parade. As soon as the parade ended, it was time to get ready for the football game against Warburg. The whole town knew when the Beavers scored, with the help of the National Guard. After the win, No School Monday! Everyone was ready to dance the night away with Reggie Scheib and his big band, or the Litterer Band. yearbook would be complete without the house and floor pictures. This is the official Beaver Inventory 1988-89. She heard my guitar. She was long and tall. She was the queen of them all. Last night, thinking about last night. She was light on her feet We went up to 
song. Christmas time. This is evacuation time for the Beavers. Some students had a two-week break, some stayed away during January too, and some were not coming back at all, like the December grads. Helen Ware was one of the December grads. She left us with some parting words. First thing you're gonna do as soon as you get out of here. First thing I'm gonna do is first thing I'm going to do is get totally trashed off my <laughs> No. <laughs> um, how's my hair look now? I messed it up. First thing I'm gonna do is go home, unpack my bags, and look for a job. This year marked the beginning of the ACES program. The idea is to spend lots of money to bring in the highest caliber performing artists and speakers. All year long, the campus was full of authors, dancers, musicians, politicians, lecturers, and more. These are just some of the events that happened this year. Upon a time, there was a beautiful woman by the name of Yemaya, who looked into the waters of the ocean, and there she saw her own reflection, and she said, Who is that beautiful woman? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Students actually stayed around on the weekends? Yeah, a few even went to Friday Afternoon Club. I guess I remember a few people hanging around there. A special group called the Minds of Minnesota sponsored a Las Vegas night one weekend. The Centennial Room was packed, with students gambling for play money, which later brought them real prizes. There was even a live student band. Another weekend featured boot hockey as a part of Winter Olympics. House was successful in defending their championship. As soon as spring came, students found other ways to kill the weekend. Like Tanny. Yeah, Tanny.
the winter and spring sports kept both fans, coaches, and athletes busy as beavers. Here's the look of our beavers in action this year. off campus. We did ask a few where they're going. Where are you going for spring break? I'm staying here in Storm Lake because it's great here, man. I'm going to be laying out pictures and rays up here on top of the farm and war I'm going to Omaha. I hope you Thank you, ma'am. Homework City. Hey, we got to go. Hey, we're going to camp. Okay. I'm going to go home and sleep. Me. Oh, all I want to be. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm just going home. <laughs> what are you going to do for spring break? I'm going to stay here. I'm heading home, then going up to basically nowhere. And but two things I'm doing this spring break. That'll get me some whiskey and give me some lovers. That's what it is. And nothing else to it. We'll be together. The drama department, under the direction of Lynn Stephen Johansson, brought several productions to the campus this year. The first of these was Equus, a story about a tormented boy. The one-act plays featured the work of the up-and-coming directors on campus. The spring production was the musical, Jesus Christ Superstar. Not to be outdone, 
Here are some of the music provided by bands. On the direction of Gary C. Fugman and the choir, directed by Stan Rashoy. Other organizations, that is a bland title. Well, one title can't really cover everything student organizations did. Yeah, the Art League had a show and sale in Smith Hall. A new organization, the Limited Edition Singers, brought back Swing Choir to BBC. And who can forget the Frisbee Golf Tournament in the Siebens Forum, sponsored by KBBC. Speaking of KBBC, the Mass Communication Department provided the campus with newspapers, rock and roll, and a television channel. Here's a behind the scenes look at KBBC, the TAC, and innovation video. of the year. Those people fortunate enough to get out this year walked through the arch and across the stage on May 21st, 1989. Welcome to the real world class of So that's it. Yeah. Only one thing to say in times like these. Happy, Happy trails! trails.